why does Vedanta say don't desire? Because desire really doesn't figure in your life. It has nothing to do with achievements because the law is you get what you deserve, not what you desire. You know, there's a beautiful poem, English poem that is taught to kids, but it has a magnificent philosophy. It's called the pineapple and the bee. A poet sees a pineapple pudding freshly baked kept on the windowsill to cool, and it's covered with a glass covering to prevent insects from coming to it. And the poet sees a bee of most discerning taste, perceived the fragrance as he passed. And then the bee tries to get at the pudding, fails, thus having wasted half the day, he trims his flight another way. When he sees this, the poet is reminded of human beings, and he addresses the bee and says, Methinks I said, in thee I find the sin and madness of mankind. To joys forbidden man aspires, consumes his soul with vain desires. Folly the spring of his pursuit, foolishness is the starting point of his pursuit, and disappointment all the fruit. And then he gives two examples. While Cynthia ogles as she passes the nymph between two chariot glasses. You know, Cynthia is the name of a young man who's standing by the roadside while a young lady passes by. Alia Bhatt goes by. <laughs> she is the pineapple and he the silly unsuccessful bee. The maid who views with pensive air the show glass fraught with glittering wear. When you go to a mall, you see wonderful things being displayed. Sees watches, trinkets, rings, and lockets, but sighs at thought of empty pockets. No money. This is before credit cards came. Like thine, he tells the bee, her appetite is keen, but ah, the cruel glass between. There's always a cruel glass standing between you and the object of desire. Why? Because you don't deserve it. And then the poet concludes, our dear delights are often such, exposed to view, but not to touch. The sight our foolish heart inflames, we long for pineapples in frames. And then three kinds of people, with hopeless wish, one looks and lingers. The tamasic fellow does nothing, he just looks. One breaks the glass and cuts his fingers. The rajasic person goes and does something, but in the end he gets stress. They whom truth and wisdom lead can gather honey from a weed. The sattvic person, the person who deserves it. He gains honey from a weed. There is no honey in the weed. Where is the honey? Inside you. Once you develop the inner merit, the world will be at your feet. You don't have to ask for it. You don't have to solicit it. You don't have to plan for it. You just become an embodiment of merit and see how things happen. The whole universe will conspire to serve you. 